Well, we're gathered here today again to reinforce a central theme of the Progressive Liberal Party's public policy going forward, and that is Urban Renewal 2.0. And Urban Renewal has so many elements in it which we need to refurbish and we need to bring to the attention of the public. It's about social intervention, trying to get on top of the issues of crime and the issue of getting people engaged in the society generally. There's the Safe Bahamas initiative. There's an initiative which will allow for pastors to work with people in the community, to help them in counseling, to help them put their lives back together, to help them engage in the community generally. One of the things I'm particularly concerned about in the Fox Hill area is that urban renewal in its first incarnation, we used to be able to call on the resources of the government to make emergency repairs to the housing stock in our various constituencies. Mm -hmm. That has all stopped. And when we were last here, the Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture tried to make light of the fact that we were decrying the fact that the FNM scaled down urban renewal, that it doesn't exist in its previous form because he said a bus pulled up with children who had gone swimming with urban renewal. But our central point remains this. It's not the fact that the office is not open. It is what is urban renewal actually doing? What does it do to help the lives of people in the community, both here in Fox Hill and around the urban areas of New Providence? And as I said, we had a program where we could call the Ministry of Housing. And right now the housing stock in Fox Hill is so degraded and it needs a lot of assistance and there is no one that you can call to say this house needs to be repaired, this house needs to be fixed and we know soon winter will turn into the springtime and the rains come and people have floors which are rotten, roofs which are leaking and all of these repairs need to be done. That's what urban renewal actually contributed to improving the housing stock. So we're saying under a progressive Liberal Party government, an urban renewal point 2.0, we're going to have renewed programs to deal with this housing problem that I'm talking about, to go back to engaging the community, to make sure that our people, our young men and women, feel that they're a part of this community and can help to build the community that, they're, uh, live, that they live in and they are a part of. Do you have an estimate of how many of these homes need repair? I would say at least a dozen. I would say at least a dozen. And, and what you've got is people who have their, their floors are, are rotten, so they're now using various devices to cover it up. But, um, you know, it's, it's just a sad situation. And the thing is, if you have a constituency office like mine, where people are coming in continuously saying, what can you do to help? And, and the profile of Central Fox Hill is no different than the profile of Grantstown or, or Inner Baintown or uh, Angliston. It has the same profile, and people may think that it's an upscale area, but there's real poverty uh, in, in this part of uh, Fox Hill. And, uh, you know, you can't help but be so concerned that people need assistance, and there's just nothing that you can do. You call on the government's agencies, and they essentially wipe their hands of the problem. Mr. Mitchell, just for those that don't see the connection, how do you, how, do, how if you could explain a little bit more, how this kind of work through urban renewal actually helps to reduce crime and violence in communities? Crime and violence in the community is an adjunct to the social dislocations in a society. If there are problems like economic problems and poverty and people feel that they're not connected to the society, then you will have a rise in crime. People don't feel they belong to the community then there's no reason why they can't attack people who are in the community. But if they feel a part of the community, right. connected to the people who are in the community, then experience tells us that crime will lessen. And so that's why the PLP is focusing so much on urban renewal 2.0. It's saying, look, let us get back to community. Let's build community, and in the long term, you will see crime statistics go down. That's, 